Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Bugs Nursery. This is Week in My Reborn Studio, episode two. Um, I got a lot of good feedback, so I'm going to be doing it again. Um, this week I am working on Gabby by Iveta Ekertova. Um, I just did one round of purple mottling, so I still have a lot of mottling layers to do, undertones, veining, everything like that, creasing, um, I'm not that far in the process, but I just wanted to show you them, and yeah, they are super cute kits, I like them a lot, um, so that's what I'm going to be working on this week, um, it is the... 20th, 20th, May 20th, 21st, one of those dates, <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so today is the 25th. I did um, modeling off camera and some veining and undertones and stuff like that. Um, here are the limbs. Yeah, so I just did off camera because I was live on Instagram, so I didn't film that, but I'm going to film the rest of the process. So I'm going to go in and do some skin layers, or flesh, wa flesh washes. Okay, so flesh washes are done. I don't know if you can see the difference. Um, it's got a really nice, like, tan, chroma color skin. Um, I think they are turning out super cute. So next we will do blushing. I know I'm not really showing much of the painting process, um, but I'm going to be showing more now. So we're going to blush, so like the nose, the cheeks. Um, I think I'll probably do a red wash, um, just because it's a new, more newborn size baby. So yeah, here's the modeling. I think it turned out super cute. Um, yeah. Good morning. Today's Thursday, the 27th, and I am working on um, a red wash all over the babies. And I think it's turning out really cute. Don't worry, they're the same color, it's just the lighting. So this one looks lighter than this one. Um, yeah, so you can see it's just the lighting, but they're turning out super cute and we're gonna get most of them done today. So let's get started. Now that the red wash is baked on, I'm gonna move on to blushing. As you can see, this baby just got her first layer. So now I'm gonna do it to both of them and peek a little work in progress in the background. Friday the 28th and this is the progress I got done on the twins yesterday quite a lot actually um, here's a little blushed hand um, but we're gonna go in and do creases I'm doing them a little later in the process I just wanted to try new things so let's see how let's see how this goes I just did the hair um, just because I was trying a new technique and I wanted to really focus they both kind of have the same hairstyle going on yeah same little, little swoops 
um, and I just think it's so cute. So this is gonna be the little girl, and this is gonna be the little boy. We have little milk bumps. I don't know if it'll focus. Probably not. Oh, there we go. So yeah, there's his milk bumps and her milk bumps, um, and their little eyebrows are really cute. Um, so now I can bake their hair on and then move on to their final details. I got paint on me on their limbs, which I will show that. I don't know why my camera won't focus. But yeah, anyway, let's do that. Okay, so for the details, she wants a heart birthmark on the boy's right knee and a heart birthmark on the girl's elbow. I'm gonna do the left elbow because she didn't specify, so I'm, I'm just gonna do them on the same side. So let's see, um, the right. The right. <laughs> the right leg would, would be this one. This would be the right knee, right? Right, right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, right knee. And then we'll grab an elbow. Or, well, an arm. So I'll do this one. We'll have the birthmark. So I'm gonna do the birthmark on these two limbs. I'll show you the color. I went for a very newborn, that's why they're more red and purpley, that's on purpose, and the motling's more intense on purpose, because they're smaller newborn sized babies. Um, pretty creasing. And then, here's the hand. So, yeah, now we're just gonna give them a birthmark. So I'm just gonna start with this, well this is like a red color, but I'm gonna make it more of a pink tone and then go from there. So let's do it. If you can see but we're getting a nice birthmark going still need a few more layers um, you can see it better on the little girl's elbow so this would be her right elbow um, so yeah need to build up more on the knee but yeah I think they are turning out really cute um, yeah so I'm gonna finish up the birthmark and then do the nail details stretch as you can see by this little face he is fully varnished um, and I just popped his eyes in just so you could see he still has a few more steps but I just thought you would like to see him and I think he's so cute this is the little boy um, so yeah let's varnish together um, her hair was rooted I did that off camera and it's glued and everything like that um, I'm about to do her little brother as well so yeah she's just chilling here waiting and I think she turned out so cute I know I, I probably didn't film as much as I should but I tried so now I just need to root her brother um, I'm getting all their box packing goodies ready to go um, I got his blanket here. He's got little dinosaurs. She's got these little hearts. Um, this is her outfit, and then he has like a little matching set. They each are getting an extra onesie, toy socks. They have a brush and comb set. Um, and they'll have a bottle and diapers and everything like that. But 
here she is all ready to go I still need to set a magnet in her head I forgot about that for her magnetic pacifier so I'll have to add that which that's no biggie um, and I need to magnetize their passies and her bows here are their passies they're not magnetized yet I'll do that but um, he's going home well they can each share obviously they're just colors but I picked these out with her in mind a purple and a pink and then they'll go home with a blue and a green so yeah I'm gonna magnetize each of these and they're gonna be on the same side magnet so that they can share these and these can go with all the outfits like even like this could go with her little set um, and yeah and then his little set this one goes really well with um, so yeah her bows magnets are now setting and I just use e6000 and she's still e able <laughs> to use the clip action so she could clip it onto like a hairband. Um, so now I'm going to magnetize these pacifiers. And now all of the pacifiers are magnetized. And all I did was take an X-Acto blade and um, cut all the nipples of the pacifiers off, flush completely, and then I just use a little bit of E6000 and um, glue them all on. We have finally reached the end of creating these two little bugs. Um, they're all dressed and ready. Um, they both have their hair sealed and I poofed it up a little bit to make it look curly. Um, and yeah, they're just so cute. Don't mind the fireworks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get them all packed up. Okay, so I just put their diapers <laughs> over their head to protect their hair and their paint. And then he's got a little hat and she's got a little bow and they match their outfits. Super cute. So now I'm gonna wrap them up in their board. Okay, so she also has her little fold over mittens and her socks for extra protection. Okay, they are all wrapped up. I wrapped them exactly.